Welcome to Street Genius. We at StreetGenius.net right now. So, what are we talking about today? Today, we talking about the fact that people been uh, well. Let's let's for one talk about Red Leopard and the Great Rift Saga. So, for people that don't know what this is, just know that what it is is that I took a story right. Let me let me show y'all if I can show y'all a few pictures while I'm talking. I took a story, right? And I said, you know what? I'm tired of okra. As, as you see, everybody talking about Oprah now. I've been tired of Oprah. Every, every, why come, you know when I knew Oprah was all bad. When every time a slave movie was out, Oprah was right there at it. Like, I'm finna show y'all all, like, wow, look, Color Purple, her first. She like, whoo, I gotta get in that. She couldn't hold out. But what I'm trying to say is this. I looked at all of that and said, you know what? There's been plenty of slave movies done. There's been plenty of The Maid and The Butlers and all of that, right? Why not take you 300 years into the future instead of the past? So that's where I, that's where I was at with it. I wanted to teach people about the Great Rift, which is a continental rift zone in Africa. And that's what the book is about. And also introduce characters. The, the dark guy is Uku, you know? He, he's the superhero of the movie and he like uh, pretty much just a character that just was forged by the Great Rift. The fact that his country split in apart, his parents was killed and I don't want to tell too much of the story but just know that the Great Rift forced him to become this. So let's run the Red Leopard and the Lake of Fire the ad because we, we running ourselves now. Let's go. What I want to do in addressing this video is the differences between Black Panther and uh, my character Uku. Now, Black Panther, right? I'm going to tell y'all why you can't compare. And I'm going to throw Batman in there too. So this is like going to be the differences between Batman, Black Panther, and my character Uku. Now, Black Panther, right? I'm going to tell y'all something about Black Panther. Like I said, he was created by white people. And that's just as simple as that. You know what I mean? He was created, you know what I'm saying, for that. Now, my character, Uku, he was created by me. You know? He don't have no, um, like, okay, Uku, he a nice guy. Don't get it twisted. He kind of nice like T'Challa. He kind of nice like T'Challa, right? And this is something I don't want to do. I'm not trying to shit on Black Panther either. Because at the end of the day, I love Black Panther. I really do. But also, I want to show y'all something, right? Because I be thinking that people think that Black Panther was uh like Street Genius was thought of by Black Panther or something. Anybody that really know me know I'm a fan of leopards. I've been a leopard fan since... Who knows? Like my whole life, I feel like I patting, patting to, I can't say that, patted, patting to, yeah. So like with the leopard, it's deeper than that for me. It's not always about like, uh, oh yeah, man. So I just like this logo. No, I've been rocking with the leopard for a long time. So I'm gonna tell y'all something. So look at this. When did Black Panther get released? February 16, 2018. Let's see. Okay, I'm going to tell y'all something also. I graduated in 2016. And I had a leopard on my cake, right? This was So I started my company right after I graduated college. And I graduated from UMSL, which is the University of St. Louis in Missouri. And if you look it up, you will see that uh, the colors are like pretty much the same as my logo, right? 
the reason I they the same as my logo, which is uh this yellow and red color, is because I had to put it on my cake when I graduated. Do you understand? So if I graduated in 2016, and here go look, here's my new Street Genius logo. Do you like in 2015, right? That was 2015. Yeah, that was 2617. And this movie came out in 2018, right? And, you know, true, it was a comic book before then, but wasn't nobody hip on it. And it didn't have nothing to do with what I had going on. So, when I seen that, of course, I got a Red Leopard logo. And you think I'm finna let Marvel make billions of dollars without me saying, y'all ain't finna steal my logo. I'm getting billions with y'all. I don't see why y'all don't got a comic book character trying to compete with uh, Black Marvel. I mean, Black Panther and Marvel and... Batman. And speaking of Batman, I want I want to leave the the comparisons of Batman alone too because Uku is not Batman. You understand? Now, where do the similarities start? Uku is a dark figure, true, and that's about it. I mean, Uku. Listen, the power is yet alone. Uku is a he has the power to harness fire, right? Batman is mere mortal, and so is um. So is T'Challa. T'Challa is mere mortal. Uku lives 252 years in the future. They living in present time. So basically the comparisons of Uku and the comparisons of uh the comparisons of Batman, Uku, and Black Panther, they just they just not valid. They not valid because like I said, Uku is a is a he's not even human no more. He 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 surpassed human abilities. That's one. He not T'Challa is like some old peaceful uh, Martin Luther King type dude. And to man, Uku will whoop your man. Listen, let's just put it real. I respect Black Panther, but man, Uku will beat the dog shit out of Black Panther. And I mean seriously, look at this. Come on. So anyway, Red Leopard out. You know what I'm saying? Support it. Make sure y'all check out the new video game. Check out everything. Peace out. Because, you know, we're going to keep it good. We're going to keep it going. We got a lot more stuff coming for y'all. And just stay tuned for Street Genius and Uku just beating the hell out of people. So, let's go.